Well, earlier this morning, we had CPS CEO Pedro Martinez live here in studio talking about today's school board vote on the five-year plan for Chicago Public Schools. And the CEO says the board is excited to pass it, but the teachers union says not so fast. Marissa Perlman live in Bronzeville. That's where the vote will take place in just a few hours. Good morning, Marissa. Good morning to you, Adrina. Yeah, the school board will meet here in about an hour from now. And among the changes in this strategic plan, schools in the district will no longer be ranked. Now, the idea behind this is that the board will kind of take what's called a holistic approach, focusing on learning and overall well-being. And instead of creating new schools to address failures, investments would be made inside existing schools. The plan also hopes to decrease absenteeism, increase language skills overall, and increase the percentage of students getting college credit. All of this, as we've been talking about, the board is making internal cuts to save money. The superintendent has said they're now relying on grants and donations at the federal level. One of the silver linings of the pandemic is we receive a, you know, a, a record inflow of resources from the federal government. We've been able to smooth out those resources. This is the last year we'll have those resources. So really for us, it's a question of sustainability. Now, the Chicago Teachers Union criticized the plan, saying parts of the plan are, quote, taken right from our contract <laughs> proposals, the same proposals that the district is actually fighting at the bargaining table. So we'll keep you posted on what happens here when this meeting, this vote gets started at 830. For now, we're live in Bronzeville. I'm Marissa Perlman, CBS News Chicago. All right, Marissa, thank you so much for staying on top of that. We appreciate it.